Very good timing, bloody hell. I didn't think it'd take me that much longer to finish my food, but I got in just as I have done. Welcome, 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 Celtic. Hope you're doing well. It's good to see you. How are you doing? And it's going well for me too. Yeah, kind of. I made it a bit too cheesy, so I'm gonna eat it throughout the stream. Very tired, oh boy. <clears throat> well, luckily today's stream isn't going to be too long. Latest I'll go is until 3. Because so I've got to get up at 12 and get ready for a viewing tomorrow. Got to travel to Lincoln. Go look at a house. Decide if we want said house. And then travel back. Although... We're not getting a train back, we're getting a lift back, luckily, so. But I take it work as being busy. Mmm. <clears throat> Big Nafala. Right. I think I spoke to Roland. I don't need your help and I don't need your pity. <clears throat> Where are you, siblings? Dead for all I know. Or in the cult's tower with the others who were taken. If they're alive, I'll rescue them. They're my responsibility. You go save the world. Or you <coughs> start. Ah. Whatever it is you do, I'll fix this. <clears throat> okay. So... <clears throat> Well, it is still loading in. Same length as usual, but it was packed. Lots of catalogs, bundles, flats, magazines, stuff like that. Oh god, I see. <clears throat> I'll give it a shot. Alright, what now? Don't be shy! Have a gander at the finest stock! He still won't speak. Just keeps going with the bloody song. Nothing of use on his person. His original writ of duty, signed by Eltan himself. <clears throat> Fella must be one of the very first flaming fist. He must know something. Let's not give up on him yet. We believe <clears throat> the cultists have taken Duke Ravenguard to Moonrise Towers. I don't suppose you found a way in. Uh, not yet. I trust you will do everything you can to free the Duke. But in case you don't find a way, I'll be heading to Baldur's Gate to seek reinforcements. The Council sent a carrier pigeon with news that the city has been dealing with absolutist attacks. The Steel Watch is holding strong. 
I'll request that Lord Gortash send some of them to aid in the fight against Moonrise. The curse won't harm them. You know the name Gortash. A counselor with considerable influence on Baldurian <coughs> history and politics. But he is no lord. By the way, uh, you may recognize the name Gortash. Gortash is the same guy that sold uh, Karlak to Zariel. Lord Gortash? I thought he was no more than a counselor. Lord Gortash is the man responsible for the creation of the Steel Watch. It's no wonder he earned the title. The Steel Watch are the future of warfare. Guardian automatons that can be sent into battle without risking any lives, except those of our enemies. Lord Gortash had only completed work on the prototypes before Ravengard and I left for Elteral, but even they were formidable. With the Steel Watch at our backs, we can storm the tower whatever Kethric throws at us, I'm sure of it. I'll do my best, but there's every chance I'll fall to the curse or the cult before I reach the city. Don't <clears throat> count on me and assume no aid is coming. Work with Jahira. That harper's mind is as sharp as her blade. Follow her guidance. Farewell. We'll meet again, God's willing. Palette of thick insurance catalogs and to reiterate lots of flats. <clears throat> A few full post cons. I'm sure I've posted. Yes, yes, I believe you have done in the past. <clears throat> um, right. So first things first. There is a cat to talk to. Um. <clears throat> Easy, Kitty. I mean, you know how. And yet you harm me by your very presence. This is my territory, and you're in it. <clears throat> my intentions are pure. I only wanted to admire you up close. Mm. <clears throat> I'll allow it. Quietly admire the cat. You've had enough. Now go. Quickly. Yes. Quite the specimen, uh, quite the specimen you are. How did you come to this place? I slinked, <clears throat> of course. <clears throat> you seem like someone who knows what he's about. Heard anything interesting around here? Good of you to notice. For my part, I have noticed the cleric is a liar. She promised me a bit of milk. But do you see any milk, do you? Nor do I, disgraceful. No, yeah, no, it's good to do that. <clears throat> Don't be shy. Have a gander at the finest. Enjoy some of the worst results of the game so far. In flame colour. That's <clears throat> your name, isn't it? Art colour? <clears throat> I'm Fistula. You, sir. One of our own's been taken. A grand duke. You might know something that could help us bring him back. We found him out in the shadows, just wandering. Nothing survives out there for long. Don't know how he made it, or where he came from. This is no physical ailment. It is a spiritual malaise. The man's mind has been gripped by the shadow fell. Yet it has not broken. Oh my god. <clears throat> if I kept the noble route, I could have fed him that. I didn't even think about last time. <clears throat> um, that name he mentioned, Fennel, who's that? No idea, I'm afraid. Whoever it is must be someone important to him. He's been saying the same thing over and over ever since we found him. Can he hear you? You hear me, don't you, sir? <clears throat> you might not be able to answer, but you hear me. What's wrong with him? A century locked inside a Sharon curse will do things <clears throat> to a man. 
But you're not alone, sir. We're here with <laughs> friends, even who want to be seen. Sorry about that. <clears throat> Should have just used. Yeah, I have a quick mute still. Um, let me have a look at him. If you know how to get through to him, don't hesitate. Uh, observe his present condition. Not happening. You notice nothing that might indicate a prognosis. Maybe some sort of magical affliction. Hmm. Solid. He's spent a long time in the shadow, Fal. A Sharon mm. realm without color or light. It's had a terrible effect on him. Clearly. He's been in the shadow, Fel. All memories will have been stripped away. We need to remind him who he is. Some personal effects, maybe? Lost in the shadows all this time. He must have left some part of himself behind. Something we can use. Sport calluses and toughened skin, as if from manual labor, or playing a stringed instrument, perhaps. Did you already check for personal effects? This was in his pocket. <coughs> he doesn't seem to have any reaction to it now, but he held on to it for a hundred years anyway. Flame Callahan, do you know where you are? If he does, he isn't sane. What's that in his pocket? Hmm. Looks official. To obtain information about current activities in Moonrise Towers, it was headed by Kefric Forum, Regional Ancestral Forum family. Take lodging in the last light and begin to investigate the local house of healing. What's in the cake corruption, but no corroboration has of yet obtained. Regions Forum family are uh, long standing devotees of Saloon. Rumors indicate a Sharon Enclave might be gaining momentum. Investigate and report. See what you have. <clears throat> oh, they've changed how the store looks now. There's trade and barter. I like that. <clears throat> Decanter of nearly endless water. I didn't know that was in the game, so I'm buying it. Wielder of his rod cannot be surprised unless something unexpected happens. That's... Invasive shoes, acrobatics, and armor class. I like that because it gives me AC. <laughs> Superior elixir of arcane cultivation. Yeah, I'll take that. Elixir of seamers, I already have that in the party. 
Looks like the invisibility potion does have its uses. <clears throat> ah, that's what the elixir of bloodlust does. It's pretty useful then. Yeah, I mean, just paying gold is good enough. It's only worth one gold. Can you use that? Not gonna use that. Abyss Beckoners aren't that great. <clears throat> there we go. Pleasure doing bit. Okay. A beautiful twenty four AC. Was that all? Nope. Do not believe so. At least it was not very clear and it would never start on trade, it would always be on barter, but I'm pretty sure it hasn't always been a thing. Is this actually just a useful, loot useless item that I can't use? Don't be shy. Have a gander at the finest. <sighs> Joking, <clears throat> Jonas and me. There's always, uh, oh, right. I see. I had no idea. I'd give a time to He was speak. always joking. He said it was good for morale, but he just liked seeing people laugh. He was a good harper. Good friend. Sounds like you were close. We were. Comrades <clears throat> in arms. I thought we could have been something more one day, but too late now. I'm sure he knew. I'm sure he cared for you as well. I don't know. And I never will. I could ask him. I'm sorry. I'd like to be alone. Tragic love. Should have heart Poor as well. Kid was as green as they come. Alright, let's talk to you here. Yeah, so I don't know if like you clocked onto it last time because it was said. But Zevlor and most of the tieflings were captured or killed. Premium trinkets and uh, I think I spoke to Sirens. Watch your back out there. Yeah, I did. It was her who said. Oh, you're all right. Thank goodness. I was worried they got you too. I heard what happened, but people were taken to Moonrise. I keep replaying it over and over in my head. They lined us up like dogs. Asherak was with the kids, telling them it was going to be all right. Maybe that's why they picked him. Told him to kneel. They took his eyes first, then his tongue. How did you survive? Roland, of all people, <coughs> saved us. He said he stayed in the grove because of you. I'm damn glad of it. Without him, well, none of us would be here. I know, Merlin isn't happy with me. Can you blame him? His brother and sister are gone. 
He's dealing with it as best he can. We all are. How do you do it? How do you keep going? <laughs> oh, that's really fucking mean. Uh, just take it one step at a time. You make it sound so easy. But I'll try. You've done so much for us already. But I have to ask. The others might still be out there. If they're not dead, they're in Moonrise. And God have mercy on anyone in that hell's pit. Don't worry, I'll find them. Thank you. If anyone can manage it, you can. Just be careful out there. Alright? I can't handle anyone else dying. Your move, Maul. You trap me! I didn't even want to take this one! Kalim Shan rules, dear. The first piece touched is the first piece moved. That's garbage! No matter where the night goes, I'm gonna lose it! Then make the sacrifice useful. Guard your Mistra, or come for my Syric. Look who made it! For once, I saved your butt out there, didn't I? Where's square now, Chief? Say, do you play Lance Ball by any chance? It's my first time playing. The keen gleam in Mole's eyes reveals the lie. She knows the game well, and she wants to win. Always laid a fine trap for you, Mole. It looks to me like his Syric could be dethroned. Gale's right, put pressure on him, attack the pieces in front of Miss Zurich. <clears throat> My, the Thescan double counter gambit. Vicious. <laughs> exactly what I would have done. How's that for Kalimshan rolls? Brava! Lovely work. I see I was right to make you the offer I did. You will consider it, won't you? What a lovely specimen she is. A blushing apple begging to be plucked. The Thescan move suggestion was inspired. I had no idea you played. <laughs> Just bugger off back to hell, would you? Um, there's plenty about me you have no idea about. Don't I? Indeed. But don't you worry about Moll. It goes without saying she still has the unconditional freedom to choose the only option she has left. Now, let's talk about you. I sense there's something you want to ask me. I do. I have a proposal for you. A proposal? <laughs> if you're hoping to taste my blood, little vampling, think again. It burns hotter than wyvern whiskey. This is serious business. Devil. My old, well... A long time ago, someone carved some runes into my back. I'd rather like to know what they say. Hmm. I'm talking about Astarion. What scars? You haven't told them. And you've kept your clothes on this whole time. How unlike you. Why not let them see? Don't be shy. God damn it. Don't worry. I'm motivated to help you. Scars often tell such wonderful stories. 
I think yours might be truly exquisite. I'll see you soon. Tell me earlier, I could have helped. I... Mm, perhaps I should have. I'm not exactly used to asking for help and being met with, well... Help. Help. What's done is done, so how about we stop talking about it and just get on with things? Although I... I should probably get dressed first. <laughs> Dialogue. I guess I could talk to Moll, see if she has anything to actually say. Nice strategy back there. If we put our heads together, I bet you and me can make a tidy stack of coin in Bonter's Gate. But Raphael's offered me a partnership already, and it seems like a sweeter deal than throwing my lot in with you. Absolutely is. I saw a pact with a creature like Raphael once. He's a devil, Maul. Be cautious. So what if Raphael's a devil? Means he's got the power to keep his promise. Also, they're rich for you to tell me who I can or I can't make deals with, all things considered. What exactly did he offer you? Protection for me and my kids, that's all. Not that it's any of your business. I'm not poking my nose into whatever trade you made with him. I haven't made a deal with him. He's just trying to tempt me. Looked like he was doing a pretty good job. If I had to deal with gods and worms in my head, I'd make a deal with anyone. Look, you saved us. Not knocking that. But after you left, Zevlor lost his nerve. Gave up the fight. I won't. Now there's no grove, no coin, no one taking us to the city. I'm not letting my crew get eaten by shadows. Maybe I'll make a deal, maybe I won't. But it'll be my choice, not the devil's, and not yours. Don't want any surprises. Yes, Mom. Um. Let's see what this does. Like no, nope, that's just his majesty in that. Right, to Jahira. <clears throat> Please, be welcome. Have a drink. To your very good health. Doesn't spoil the taste if that's what you're wondering. No, but it spoils my trust. Indulge me. Bottoms up. Everybody disapproved? Really? Well over a century old, and yet it hasn't lost a hint of flavor. Still not quite so sure about you, though. People tend to lose more than just flavor when illithids get their hands on them. I speak from experience. There's an air about you. Something alien. Answer me true and do not lie. The parasite is changing you. Isn't it? Yes, the parasite's giving me powers I never had before. It's changing me for the better. For the better. Look around you. 
Good men, good women. Stranded here, two feet in the grave. If we're to survive, I have no choice but to trust you. Can I? No. You can trust me. Good. Because I'll cross your heart myself if you break it. I have every reason to be cautious. I've traced people like you. People with parasites in their brains. All the way here from Baldur's Gate. The cult of the Absolute is spreading through the city. Quietly, quickly, and with unsettling deliberation. We tracked them to this ancient village, only to be faced with a man we killed and buried over a century ago. Who... what is he? General Cadric Thorn. Remember that name. He's the leader of the Absolutists. He was a Sharan once. Took to building an army of dark justiciers beneath this very village. Alongside the local druids, we made it our business to see him deposed, dead and buried. But he's returned. Not only does General Cadric Thorn live again, it seems he is no longer mortal. He has become, in fact, invincible. We met him on the road here. Commanding an army of the Absolute intent on destroying Baldur's Gate. I put an arrow through his eye myself. Only to watch him pluck it out like a splinter. He healed right in front of me and chased us into the shadows. Things looked hopeless. But experience has taught me that no matter how bleak things look, there's always hope. You are that hope. I need to look something up. I wonder if you can kill Kefric with the goblin. No. That's a shame. Oh, I wonder if you kill her. Okay, right. I had to look up some... Well, it's not spoilers because you can't do it. But you can, in theory, remove Kefric's immortality before meeting him. So I wondered if the cutscene where the goblin pins him to his chair by throwing the um, fucking halberd would just outright kill him. <laughs> 
but no, the cutscene doesn't happen because you assault the tower right afterwards, so. Uh, what do you have in mind? Protected by your artifact, you can infiltrate his forces at Moonrise Towers, posing as a true soul. Find out what it is that makes him invincible, so we can strip Ooh. him of his advantage. Once Gatherick is without his shield, the sword, together we assault his tower and put a final end to this blight. Well, in theory, you might be able to, but I think it would be considered an evil action. I wonder if you could still get it to trigger if you killed everybody at, mo uh, at this inn, then did that, and then moved on. Kefrix days are numbered, I'll make sure of it. Without a cure for your infection, your days are numbered too. Yet you selflessly offer to spend them fighting alongside us. I like you. I promise I will do everything I can to make sure you survive this. Any cure starts with understanding the disease. Whatever magic Gatherick's using to control these tadpoles, it must be at Moonrise. Until then, we keep drinking wine when we meet. Do I reach him? The surrounded by shadows. You're not our only secret weapon. Isabel, a faithful cleric of Siluna, and a light in the darkness. She cast the moon shield around the inn. She's upstairs in her chambers. Tell her I sent you, and she'll see you through the shadows safely. Right. right here. Um, you know what? Before we do this as well, we'll see Demon just in case. So we'll go to camp. There's also this magic mirror in the camp now, so you can customize how you look. What is it? Journey separately sure. for now. Fine, I'll be. Shed stash and fall has taken camp supply stack. How can we power to key changes in magic? That is new. There's Karlak. Shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting times. Copper for your thoughts. Mm, come on, we're heading out. Soldier, that's Jahira, the Jahira. She lives in the city, right? Don't you know the whole story? Years ago, over a century, Jahira was part of a group that saved Baldur's Gate from Saravok, a ball sport trying to plunge the city into war. My mum used to tell us stories about them, the legends who protected the city from evil. She said Jahira was a powerful druid, adamant, tough. I've told myself those stories a thousand times since. I never thought I'd meet Jahira. She's a hero, and I was always some outer city kid. 
Can't believe she wants to talk to us about working together. What a day! Find a way forward. Hello, Damon. Karlak! I thought you'd be in the city by now. We were ambushed by off the anvil into the forge. We'll find them. Hopefully. Before you run off into the belly of the beast, there's something I need to tell you. Well, two things. Good news and bad news. Give us the good news. I only need one more piece of infernal iron to craft an insulating chamber that can make it possible for Karlik to... Touch people! Exactly! Oh my god. It's really happening. It's been so long. Hello, Lou. We've got the iron. Welcome, Let's welcome, do welcome. this thing. Hang on. I think you'll want to hear the bad news too. Yeah, sure. But first, fix me. Please. Give him the iron. Let's make this happen. Well. All right. This shouldn't take long. Same as last time. You'll need to install it yourself. This should do the trick. It's the least I could do. Before you go, there's something I need to tell you. That engine of yours. It's contained for the moment, but it's just too hot to exist here in the material plane indefinitely. I know you know that, but the thing is, there's a cure. I wasn't making any headway with the mechanics, none at all. The environment here is just too cold to sustain metals like the ones inside you. You have to return to Avernus. For good. Or this thing is going to burn you up from the inside out. And sooner than you think. The minute I set foot back in Avernus, Zarya will force me back into service. I am not doing her bidding again. I'd rather die. I get that, but don't rule it out. The world just might be better with you in it. Even in Avernus. I won't stop trying to figure out a cure, but at this point, I think we all have to face the inevitable. Why? Why is it gone eerie? Um. Those things first, Karlak. You have touchback. We ought to celebrate that. Right. All this doom and gloom. I have something far more exciting on my mind than this bloody tin box. Thanks, Damon. Really, you've given me more than I could ever repay. It's been my pleasure. Good luck, both of you. Look after yourself, all right? Presumably, uh, she literally installed it into her heart, but... Presumably there's a way for her to open her torso up because Karlak doesn't have a heart. It's this is the just best this energy. That's why she glows. The best day. I'm happy for you, Karlak. I'm so happy for me too. Now I just need to find someone to cuddle up to tonight, and I'll be the happiest woman on the sword coast. 
<laughs> anyone in mind? I'm not sure. Depends who's got me in mind. Withers was giving me the old eye the other night. Then again, maybe it was just an old eye. Relationship is exceptional. There's a quick, the short rest button. Why is there a quick, short rest button, and why did I just find it by mistake now? Fucking removing that, god damn it. It's got a fit floor like that water wheel powered robot. <laughs> Soldier. I need to stay behind really? in camp for now. Really, really? You heard me. If you insist, I'll make my way back. seek out the touch of another only to be told she might not have much time left join me right. fucking shadow heart bugged out again where I can't see her Like this makes him. Oh, I need to speak to Halson as well. Shark keeps draping a portrait in darkness. Yeah, clearly. It's a bit of a dick move from a shark, but. We live with it, I guess. Oh, Will has something to say to me, too. Not that I'm overtly keen on talking to Will. Shadow curse is upon us. As foul as I remember it. Perhaps even worse. But with the Oak Father's blessing, we may soon see it banished from these lands. There's a flaming fist at last light. The kill left him insensible. But he is muttering about a boy named Fainal. He is? Then I must see him. Insensible or not, he knows something. Nathaniel is no ordinary child. Oh, Faniel. He is the very spirit of this land. If I will go to see him at once. Join me when you can. So this is how you get Halson to be able to join your party, this quest. A blushing apple begging to be plucked. Mm, Raphael's angling for the girl's soul. She's up in line to team up with Raphael. There's no changing it. <laughs> She's stubborn, yes. Bold as a lamb cavorting in a lion's den. But as ambitious as she is, Moll's no fool. One way or another, she'll see there's no winning Raphael's game. And she'll walk away. And if she doesn't? Then Raphael collects another trophy. And Moll sells her independence to the hells. You've seen what happens when a bound soul reaches for freedom. I can't imagine what cruel penance Mole would pay if she were ever to resist that fell bastard. How did it feel to be a devil? It's said that anyone who bathes in the river of blood emerges as one born anew. It's a lot like that, I imagine. I feel the weight of these pawns on my head, curling upwards like a mammoth's tusks. I feel these ridges snaking down my neck. Not to mention a few bumps and prongs in unmentionable places. But I haven't seen my reflection just yet. Be my mirror. What do you see? A handsome devil. I 
I mean, yeah, I guess. Quite a handsome devil, if I do say so. <laughs> I can't tell if you're being silly or serious. But I'll accept the flattery either way. I suppose I'll grow used to the new me. Horns and all. The people will see a curiosity. Maybe even a beast hungry for their souls. But I will slay their monsters. Keep them safe. And one day they will see the Blade of Frontiers again. Sure. Anyway, um... Couldn't have got out that conversation. Wait, telescope? Can I... Right, we're going to speak to Isabel. I can't believe I've spent an hour nearly just talking at this camp and doing encounters here. But I think I've done everything now so we can do this conversation. Let's have a look. Ah, there's a loot up here. I, um, actually, so we'll go back down and speak to Halsim first. If, um, and we should also have Halsim around in a moment. I'll take that. Oh no, 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 no! Ah. Oh, I didn't lose any HP. I thought I would. It said I would. Hello, Halsim. <laughs> it's true then. He's met Daniel. There's no other way he'd know that name. This is just what we needed. Well done. We need to wake him. He must know something about where to find Daniel. Any ideas? If he was able to escape the Shadow of Earl, then he mustn't have managed to consume his spirit. Well, not all of it anyway. We need to unlock whatever's left of him inside his head. There must be something to trigger him. A word, a memory, an item. We just need to find it. Must be another way to look for Cass. Without Daniel, no. And I don't know how I can find him without speaking to this man. See what I can do. I don't deserve you, my friend. Right. Step one, we're going to try the loot. Because I never did this quest last time, but I know it's how you get Halston to join the party. How do I play? Okay, well, I'm not, I'm not a bard. Despite my charisma and my subpar performance skill. What is my performance skill? That's charisma plus three. What? He keeps saying Daniel's name. He must know more. I don't deserve... Okay. Well, that didn't do anything. Time to go speak to Isabel as well. Now that we're doing that, I'm going to save the game. Term has been a filth in me. I feel it in my very lungs. I cannot get it out. It will never get out. This death that reeks within me. There's some things even the moon maiden cannot heal. There are some things that she would never accept in her devoted. I should have never come back. The 
Those look very nice. I like those robes. Out of spite, I could put them on. Hold on a fucking tick. Where's Shadow Heart? Uh. Huh? Why was she pretending to play Assassin's Creed? Let's move. A lift of warding. Okay. So whatever happens, Gale and the Druid's crew. I've never seen something like that happen. Anything of use? Okay. Use our bad. word. I didn't realize I had an audience. The true soul who's going to save us all. I'm Isabel. Pleased to meet you. I have a parasite of a true soul, but not the mind of one. Bully for us. We've been waiting, hoping against hope, for someone like you. Free from the Absolute's influence, yet able to walk among cultists. It's almost too good to be true. But I'd be a poor cleric indeed not to avail of a blessing when I see one. Let me guess. Jahiris sent you to beg a protection spell of her favorite cleric. Thank you. <sighs> it hurts. Perfect. It'll make you immune to the lesser effects of the Shadow Curse, which will get you closer to the towers. But there are places it won't help. Places where the curse is darker, stronger. The cultists are able to traverse even the deepest shadows, though. I don't know how. The Harpers are trying to figure it out. Salunite magic. Dark lady, forgive me. Good nose. Like a nasty little terrier. Anything else uh, I should know before heading off? Ketherick is a frightening man. But you have something he doesn't. Allies worth having. While you're busy in the towers, I'll be sure to... Wait. Do you hear that? Something's wrong. Uh, what are you? True soul, 
My instructions are clear. Take the girl to Ketherick, alive. Probe this force for information, by the way, as well I did. Marcus is trying to kidnap you, Isabel. We're going to need to find a way out of this Pathetic. one. Pathetic. The Absolute sees all. Your treachery will be No shadow art icon. The Absolute. Of course. You can't believe them, Marcus. Ketherick will never give you whatever it is you've been promised. He already has. Got some bony-ass fucking me. chicken wings. save the game here. Uh, this combat does have a failure condition, by the way, that isn't um, death. As you can imagine. <clears throat> And that is if Isabel gets knocked out. I've seen some of the outcome for that, but I've not seen what happens if you continue the story afterwards. Because the only reason she got KO'd in my game was because of a fucking bug. So I reset. The enemy is surprised. Never not. There we go. <clears throat> 
<laughs> the enemy is surprised that they launched the ambush. himself up. It's one hell of a way to win the combat. How did we get it? How are we in this inn? turn back on my reaction at 20 because of the update because I shouldn't be I sh I mean I don't think I'm nat 20 fair but definitely just cast a spell fucking level 2 it does on crit without asking Well, I mean, it's dead, but it's used up the last of my spell slots. It's gonna go straight for his well.
Nice. Are you all right? I'm fine. <coughs> I destroyed that combat this time. Holy Marcus shit. Been with us since the start. They've been tracking us this whole time. And that was no random attack. You were the target, Isabel. They know how important you are. But they don't know about you. Ketherick will strike again. We need you to strike first. Ah, yes, Discover the, the source wardrobe. of his invulnerability. Make him mortal so we can make him bleed. Good luck. We're in more danger than I knew. If something happens to me, everyone in this inn is dead. Like that. Pretty sure I'm Nafala, not Gale. But I don't mind being Gale to speak because Gale is my love. Uh, Marcus Tom McCaffrey wanted and you captured, not killed. Why? Why does a man like him do anything? Power, spite, some kind of twisted personal morality. I can understand why he'd want me dead. Without me keeping the curse at bay, everyone in this inn, everyone intent on killing him, is dead too. As for why he'd want to take me alive, I don't know. And I don't want to find out. Now that we have you, I hope I won't have to. <laughs> I'm getting tired of hearing that. I never get tired of hearing that. Once I take Catherick's head, you'll be safe again. No mercy. For Catherick will have none on you. End this. Let's get going. Cool. Um, yeah, nobody died. Last time I did this, people died. Oh. Leah, Cal, if you see this, stay put. I will return oh, in ten days. That day happens most. after this. I repeat, stay put. Right, so in my last playthrough, Roland died in my last playthrough. So I'm gonna make a save now. Because the area he's in, it requires you to... It requires you to go to Moonrise, basically. You can see how close it is. But once you enter a specific part of this area, it triggers his combat that he's in and he can die quite easily if you don't react but you don't get drawn into the combat uh, I absolutely am looting this body his shit is mine thank you Spilly blur great glove I like your armor Uh, invisibility and blur. I like my uh, dark vision at the moment. Although blur, very handy, I'm pretty sure that is. Yeah, attacks have disadvantage on attack rolls against you. Hmm. I could put my dark vision ring on when I need it. Stay put, I'll bring Mole home. But it's our job to bring Mole back. Look at her. She's a proper adventurer. And if we got hurt, Mole would be really mad at us. Fine. But you've got to understand, Mole is family. Bring her back, please. I can't fucking believe her. The audacity to try again. Now I've 
access to a lot of the upper abilities nearly. And once we get to Moonrise, I will definitely finish that part. I was out rescuing orphans and I lost track of time. <laughs> Every bit of friendship we have in our past lives, please just consider I'm really... I'm really sincerely asking for a lift up from you dangerous oh my god and i have orders to help you the path to the towers is drenched in blood yet the cultists have found a way to move freely whatever this method you must claim it a cultist convoy crosses the land as we speak i've readied an ambush say the word and we fly Let's take on that convoy you lead i follow splendid harper's with me At this point, I feel like it's either gambling or drugs. Probably just purchases for themselves, right? Just stuff that they don't need. Gambling is a good one, though. That's a good bet. I'm going to say no, but it's going to be tough to struggle. do so. In vain. I mean, that's because you're a good person. We'll come back and look at that soon. Um, that's because you're a good person. But you shouldn't feel guilty. And have another spell. Just a brief respite. I had a fucking. At the ready. I've got all of Gale's spells, and I've got all of Shadow Hearts. don't die very quick, but at the same time, you know, if they do, they do. Fireball. Great if I could knock it back. This stupid thing is annoying, so I'll just do a normal hit. Missed anyway, so that's good. This will preserve life on everybody in range. Won't get him who's down there, but it's fine. My AC should now be 26. Fucking hell. Uh, lucky you're not someone who would take kneecaps as payment man. Oh, dude, I would. For that much money, I would. I 
It's fucking ridiculous. Bro, we cast Hunter's Mark on that and attack a different one. He walked into his own cloud of daggers. Fucking moron. That's probably why he did it. What was that? Oh, Shield of Faith is gone. The more harpers that survive as well, the more we have of a siege on Moonrise. Fucking hell, you can hit two people with a healing potion? No. You don't get to sanctuary yourself. I mean, he did. He literally did. He's immune to it because of fucking rage. Let's kill that prick. I didn't really want to use another of these yet, but I'm gonna have to. Everybody's turns. Meaning that hopefully we'll whittle down and rest and we can all focus on the drider. And again, big heal. Fantastic. Now we just gotta kill this last guy, Betty. We should go for Gale. Yeah. Brilliant. Really? You missed a Starion? Fucking ninety one percent chance and you missed. Yeah. Sometimes you can be a disappointment. A drider is considered a humanoid. Oh, it's because he was a dragon.
attack with this. Keeps having me look like this is astonishing. Oh man, yeah. You don't gain anything by them still being your friends, like on anything. You actually gain more by them not being around. There's any point in having them on social media or anything then. It's more damaging for you to have that. Oh. <sighs> Absolutely are felons. Seems like somebody's gonna die. Yep. Or not. It's a shame that my haste ran out. do 45 HP. Can you do 14 on a hit? You did 4 on a crit hit. Well, someone's dead. Or not. shadows, even those within me. Be safe and be brave. We expect no less. You notice a tiny pixie trapped within. These fey creatures are infamous for their trickery. Sometimes playful, sometimes malicious. Oh please, oh golly, Leo my, you must release me or I'll die. Welcome, 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 Slain. Hope you're doing well. I am hurting night and day. Uh, ignore the pixie, you'll be needing this one. I'll gut you like a ten day old if you don't release me right this moment! I don't respond, respond well to friends. Me neither. So let me out or get ready for the third thundering! 
ignore, no, keep on. No, no. Right. The drought of wielding this weapon deals 1d4 extra points. But it always does the 1d6. So that's not even conditional. That makes it very tempting to use versus Faith Breaker. I mean, 8 to 23 damage on this sword versus Faith Breaker, which is 7 to 17. That's nuts. Let's not loot a Starion. Now a bosom companion. Take care that thou art not distracted on my quest, seeking the comforts of the flesh. It's just a moment in the weave. Bosoms haven't been involved yet. Recall that in time, all becomes dust and bone. Fate is along as it should. Dost thou require a new ally? I'll give that a read after the stream. Or mayhaps then thou must return with the proper payment. This is the price of well cut. Sort of my brother has no sense By of fun. doom and dusk I strike Wyatt. thy name from the archives. Stores one, even though I drank two. Shit. Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah, it's nothing to gain from anything that I could do with his username. Let's go save uh, Roland. What's in here? Watch your back. Oh, for a skeleton king. Yeah, I'm gonna beeline straight for it, so oh, I'll save the game in a moment. I'm gonna not load the game, save the game now, just in case Roland dies.
I would be inclined to agree. Yeah, it's rolling. Worth for fourteen damage. Wow, Shadow Heart came in clutch, sir. Can't even catch my breath. Second one gonna hit. One can't always be a gentleman. Torment. God damn it all! I can do nothing right! Not a damn thing! Please tell me you weren't looking for moonrise. So what if I was? Kalamir could be there! Instead, I found myself cornered by shadow fiends and in need of rescue from you, of all bloody people. We're trying to help your family. Don't be too hard on yourself. Or not hard enough. I failed Cal and Leah again. Be on your way. I'll return to last light. I know when I'm outmatched. I could save him this time. And we will go to Moonrise. There is stuff we need to explore, but it is urgent. I save these tieflings and whatnot because I can't long rest until I do, I believe. Bastards are the only time that you ever need to, uh. Pleasure. What news from the field? Uh, I've infiltrated an encampment of harpers protected by a cleric of saloon. <laughs> Impressive. I'm sure she's in the audience chamber, true soul. Go right ahead. If it's an audience she desires, audience let us provide. In her name. Praise the absolute. <clears throat> True soul. A pleasure. Um. What new? Well then. Pray. Playtime's over. So, pack up your ears. You and the pup have a new mission. Absolute's cult has gone and grabbed one of Zariel's assets. A devil. And a powerful one at that. They're locked up in the cult's fortress. Moonrise Towers. And you're getting him out. It's a problem for Will, not me. <clears throat> Clause Z, Section 13. Should promised soul refuse obeyance or neglect duty, the pact holder shall cast the promised into a vernus as a lean mule. I'll make it simple. Will fails or refuses. 
and he turns to a thick blob of stink flesh and sinks to Avernus. You either mount a quick rescue, or you condemn Will to an eternity sizzling in the hells. Sounds like an easy choice to me. Mazora's words may be flippant, but they are tinged with desperation. She cannot afford for Will to fail this mission. That's an inside your best check. Chance to negotiate Will out of his pact. That should be an inside check. Uh, we'll rescue your asset on one condition: you end your, uh, you end Will's pact. Interesting. Now, why should I go letting my favorite pet off his leash? Always let the cult infect the asset a bit, then make her loyal for all. No shadow heart for some reason, huh? Thank God. When we did actual D and D on Sunday, I managed to roll two ones in a row as well. Incredible! You actually think you hold the winning hand? Fine. I'll play your game. But I amend the pact once the mission's done. Not before. Clause F. Section 9. Soulbinder shall bestow reward or favor only upon soul bearer's fulfillment of related obligation. You've heard of this provision. Better known as the you first clause. Now, get to move. Any other interruptions before I commit? Fucking genocide. No? Okay, Final brilliant. Step. Enjoy the view. This feels like a stretch all the way to the Sea of Swords in a clear day. If this place ever get. I'm afraid you missed the ship through soon, but there'll be another along soon enough. We're already stacking the cargo. What cargo? Nothing of note. Just supplies for the battle ahead. As the symbol glows, power courses through you. Authority. Job is to guard, leave the hotels to me, yes. Just. Uh, there you are, I suppose. Dream until something. 
These tadpoles come from an ancient colony down below the tower. Whatever we do with them, we must deny their use to the Absolute. well him. Why is that like just not an option? Why can't you be pushed into the to live in more interesting times. Best be on my way. Why can't you be pushed into the water anymore? Why is this a thing? I'm working it up. state anything it's just being utter shite it, just, it, it blatantly should send you to the forever sleep Assaulting someone. You're headed for the cell. I literally don't care anymore. I'm not gonna have a game tell me that I can't shove somebody into an abyss that I can very easily shove them into. Stretch all the way to the Sea of Swords in a clear day. If this place ever gets a clear day. So it worked that time.
to press ahead. Brilliant. Hey, buddy. Oh, but there'll be another along soon enough. As the symbol glows, power courses through you. Authority. Uh, not that that will matter. I can push him down that way. Not anymore for some reason. You were witnessed assaulting someone. You're headed for the cells. Please, well, yeah, so it was barely a scuffle. No need to overreact. A little good nap, honey. I may not be fooling anybody, but soon you're going to jump into the ocean. I've got a long road ahead. Allow me to move these barrels so I can just wriggle in here quickly. Inspect. Wave of sit hope. Look at them all. And we'll do this to check again. Thank you. A pattern asleep. Okay, we've done all of that. That is still <coughs> placid. The wind serpent at the center end. It seems. Alright, pick up. Um. There we go. Gain two illithid powers for that. Once for when you make attack roll, reduce the uh, target's corresponding ability by one. Stage right, and then trans can use health. For a dull moment. There can be no doubt. This is the place. This is where we'll discover the secret of the absolute. Can't give up now. Thanks, voice in my head. Right. 
Now all I have to do is kill these scrying eyes and free all the prisoners. Killing scrying eyes is relatively easy. If it goes right. Someone is one way to get a guard's blood pressure up. Huh. Shit. Well, <clears throat> I don't care. Combat's combat. I'll kill them. Oh, but the fucking scrying eyes will come back. Fuck. I've got to be quick. Crying eye over there is going to scream. Not good. Was there an auto save when I came in? No. Well, I can save it here just in case everybody becomes hostile because that's very possible very quickly. is the plan. Uh, 
Uh, not so invisible though, are you? I thought you were resistant to lightning. You are, so that did last even. It could have. Fucking hell. So your AC is reduced. One scrying eye down. Other one's still up. Get out of that acid. So you still got your AC. Should have heart. Um. No, actually. That hit the Sarion too. Fuck. Pretty sure I can push her off and still get the item. Uh, well, can't push off a warden anyway at the moment. Love it when a 91 misses. Do anything from that. Just casually threw um shit. Just threw it on the floor. Fuck me. Why is nothing getting Gale back up? He has been healed twice. Cannot regain hit points. last time because I killed them. Uh, again benefits of it. Oh. Heal now? Yes. Right. Thank God.
All right. <clears throat> Seems like I am actually killing everything on this floor. Never a dull moment. All right, scrolls. Do I have thunderwave? Nope, I have gust. That will work. I hope. them off though. Yeah, not from that angle. We should leave. And soon. That is the plan. Something evil here. Oh. Okay. One point of damage for holy. I can fucking reach. I'm not being arrested. Would rather die. Turns out that's all I needed to do to resolve the combat. I'd have actually much rather the combat outcome, but well. I'll check if they're hostile or not. They are not hostile. Okay, let's close the door and wait here a minute. Well, let's get everybody else down here.
I get a lot of XP in this area. Every kill now is very rewarding. said it would go off the map. Made a noopsie. If your intention was to make things work, made a big oops. Why are there so many guards? There weren't. How did they just appear? Sorry, if there's an angle. Perfect. Ah, uh, I've not got enough movement for that now, have I? Oh, okay. Why are you guys in the combat now? show off a magic trick after this as well. Right. Not enough. Ah, oh, because you're ensnared. You. Hey, you're both ensnared. Ensnared and frightened. Fuck me. Ah, uh, I will have to go get myself another drink. Thank you for the hydro.
a Nazi if they are considered hostile. Nope, they are not. Cool, um... Thank you, guys. Very well. Fate, dost thou require it then? Thou must return. This is the price of that. Well, while Withers does that, I'm going to go pee. I do. Myself my drink in just a sec. I lost Starion. Yes, let's. <clears throat> Get over there already. What? Okay, well, I saved my game just in the event something happened, but... Okay.
Frost in Thor. I pressed fucking C. God fucking damn it. Wits and blades always sharp. Certainly. You can't just walk off in the middle of that. This is so infuriating. I'm just trying to exploit the game. Keep your distance down. Fucking match the shadows. Yes. Trust no one. On the hunt. I pressed fucking C again, got still breathing, despite everything. Keep a blade close. your back. No Let's prove. I know where to go still. Quietly now. Let's have a Is it starting on lost huh? hiding? Let's get on with it. Why can't you do anything? Thanks for this. That's what I wanted to do the entire time. Now I'm gonna go get myself some juice as a reward for committing um, probably the worst robbery of my life. weird because it feels like an exploit but they've not patched it out yet it's been in since the beginning i just well 
That's the first time I've ever abused it. Dude, I'm stuffed. How do you know that I did that? Try control your color. The game's all about choice, and you were using the tools at your disposal to find an action you control. Yeah, but the thing is, I'm pretty sure it's meant to be implied that Withers is consuming the gold. caught this guard's eye. What do you have to say? Who's talking to me? Well, I'm a stereon, apparently. They believe you. Don't know how they saw me, given that I'm in stealth. with everything. I, like it makes sense that opening the chest makes noise, but at the same time it's a bit weird that it has said it there. i 
someone. You're headed for the... Uh, probably about three-ish. Missing baby. You've made me your Can't give up. Another fight. Let's go. Time. Now, why go up there? Now I have to go in front of a fucking scrying eye that's gonna... Back down because somebody's probably gonna run over after casting thing. Fuck. Fuck. I'm trying to say thunder wave, not fuck. Jesus. Handy work and lock pick this. And this while I still have guidance. Real. Some pretty good stuff and also pretty good stuff. Gaps, cracks, anything to leverage the rock. Nickels, tools. Get creative. This rock is basalt. It'll crack with enough pressure. Ah, 
Don't mind us, true soul. The back wall is weak. We're working to brace it. God, Astarion looks like shit. You will bring Barkas sent me. Barkas is out here? Mm, didn't think he had the stones. Well, if he sent you, you're no slave to the Absolute. You're a damn wolf among sheep, aren't you? <laughs> I reckon you and I were meant to meet. I'm Wolverine. Uh, Nafala, pleasure to meet We've you. We've got a plan. <clears throat> For us and the Tieflings both. But we're scuppered. We need tools. That head case of a warden robbed ours. But anything that breaks rock will do. Even if it's not iron hat. Whatever you find, throw it through the bars. But for the love of Gerdo, make sure a guard doesn't see you. Or we're both done for. Now, we'll get you to Boulder's Gate, sir. I swear it. This is it. Good work. We're gonna wait. We'll grab the tieflings along the way. We'll need them. You, however, are the clincher. Once we move, keep the patrols busy. If the bastards spot us, all will move once it's quiet. Dream once it's quiet, it is quiet. <laughs> Exactly, what cards? Let's move. So maybe should be breaking the tieflings out too. I hope. Or Wilbur is gonna get fucking punished. What? Wait, no, Chris says a lot. He's alive? This is it. Hold on. Boat's good to go. All that's left is to ship off. My plan for now is to hide out on the water. Unless you have a better idea. I'll come with you. I know a place called the last light and you'll be safe there. Safe? That's no small claim in these parts. Time, skill, or luck brings you to Last Light's dock. Hold there! You can't just land and start unloading strangers. They're procedures, damn it! No one gets in without being tested. Commander Jahira's orders. Just escape the absolute. These people need sanctuary, not procedures. And they'll have it once we know they're free from infection. Here, form a line. Let's see if the Absolute's little pet recognizes any of you. The Absolute's what? What are you doing? 
Yeah, they will see if you're infected. It's safe, I promise. If what you said is true, no one has anything to fear. If not, well, we'll soon find out. So, I got an achievement there, but I didn't get last time. Now, form a line. I'll not ask again. This won't take long. Because one of them died last time I played, because I think I long rested. Rescue all prisoners from the depths of Moonrise Towers in one playthrough. I was going to show you guys Dennis being dead. Because last time I played, he was dead. We have to worry about parasites now. These flaming fists don't take themselves so seriously, do they? This is ridiculous. As if I'd let some parasite infect me. Yeah, so there's a hole down here that I found Dennis down dead at the bottom of in my last playthrough. Dennis is one of the two tieflings that we saw at the camp. You know, you can walk into the couple that's planning their future life at Baldur's Gate. He is, I guess, the husband or boyfriend, partner of a woman, Bex. <clears throat> it was fucking heartbreaking to see him dead the first time I played. Please take off your shoes and belt. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Hey, oh, uh, I, I don't need anything else. Thanks. <clears throat> Busy, are you? Very. Was there something else? <clears throat> not gonna thank me for saving your life. Did I not already? How remiss of me. Here. That should cover your services. Mm, what will you do once you get out of here? I have plans. You should look for me once we're in the city. The name Wolverin Bongle will be mentioned among many. I've little doubt. Fucking Wolverin Bongle. Can't you elaborate? That's Iron Hand <laughs> no business. Yeah, that's to do with a rune explosives. The thing that I have. What part do you play in the Iron Hand gnomes? I am more than a part. I am its oil and gears. I am its purpose, its leader. We are inventors of the highest order, matched, perhaps, but never surpassed by the Gondians at the High House of Wonders. But our forebears were foolish, complicit with Saravok's madness over a century past. And so, we were banished. We still are to this day. Siding with a murderous lunatic spawn for points. Sorry about ball, ball spawn. The very one. It's the only mistake the Iron Hand gnomes ever made. And it cost us everything. I have fought tooth and nail to restore our reputation. Particularly against the Gondian detractors who live in glass houses. Our return to Baldur's Gate will usher in a new era for the Iron Hand gnomes. The realm deserves the benefit of our genius. <clears throat> I'll leave you to your own devices. Appreciate it. <clears throat> Something's on my mind. Did you enjoy relaxing here while I battled that wretched darkness? What were you thinking? I'm sorry, we got captured by murderous lunatics. 
I thought you were dead, you ass. Both of you. We're all safe, Roland. That's what matters. Would you be happy to see each other? I thought my entire family was dead. I'm sorry. We should have been here. No, no, it's it's not your fault. I I shouldn't have shouted. I'm sorry. Thank you for saving me and the two idiots. Don't mention it. Humble too. Imagine that. She has no cause to be humble. She brought us back together. A task I failed miserably at. You went out of your way to help us. It's only right you get something in return. Here. I hope it helps. More money. Right, well, I'm glad that I got to do that. Because I didn't last time. You've forgotten what's at stake. You're here! You're all right! How? We're two tiefling queens, remember? I couldn't leave my favorite bard without her partner in crime. I did have some help from an old friend, though. How did you do it? <laughs> Kill me, everyone who got in the way. Um, killing everyone who got in the way. I'm sorry it came to that. But if it was you or them, I'd pick you every time. I mean, you should true. have seen her. She was brave, but also terrifying. In a good way. I never thought I'd see... Well, anyone again. Thank you. A thousand times, thank you. One last favor. Take this off my hands. It suits you better. No spitting up ever again. You hear? Uh, Why excuse are you me. Smiling at me? I'm just glad you're safe. Uh huh. Okay, so I've got 1,200 gold from this so far. Fine. Who took can trips deal additional damage equal to your current ah, fuck. That'd be good if Gale had high charisma. Maybe if I make Gale based on charisma and in, that would be good. More liked one thought fight at the beginning of Wara's turn for a back to face, granting them temporary hit points equal to their charisma modifier plus one AC. Alphira, I'm alright. I know. The scales current charisma. Yeah, so it'd be plus one to any roll he makes, but I can make it higher. Right. <clears throat> By the way, the only person you can't rescue is Mole. You can't rescue the girl. Not in this act. Mole can be cranky and mean. But she looks after you us. You have to rescue her so in Act 3 up, for right? some reason. Because you need all the help you can get to bring her home. Let me see what you have. Thank you. 
think Ao can use a shield. Mm, before I buy that, I'm gonna check. Take care next time. I'm pretty sure he can. Light armor, shield, civil militia, yeah. See if there's anything you need. We don't know when the next blow might land. Mm. Holy shit, 5,500 gold. Take care. I don't have any way to fast travel back down my shit. Um too dark to tell. I guess I can always walk back though. Bonus action disengage. Select Gale. We're just gonna go to Withers. With ease. No, Withers, not with ease. Now a bosom companion. Take care that thou art not distracted on thy quest. Seeking recall. Fate, dost thou require a new as? Okay. <clears throat> Wizard. Um, these are the candles I had. Require and change these. Um, <clears throat> that makes no difference. That makes no difference. Your wisdom won't matter. Magic missile, chromatic orb. Um, minor illusion. Uh, knock and mm, I don't need knock. Uh, mirror image. 
so I want to take one that increases just my hit. No, I don't. Come on in. Fireball, lightning bolt. Um, counter spell. And haste. So now, Gale has plus three to any of his cantrips. Would be even better if I could give it to him and he had Eldritch Blast, so it might be better if for my next level I give him Eldritch Blast as a feat from a Warlock tree. And then he can use Eldritch Blast as a Firebolt, and that will be very good. He also regained all of his spell slots. So you can just spend a hundred gold at withers and reset your spell slots for a day, apparently. Seems a tad busted since you can just take your money back from withers. In theory you could do the entire game without long resting. So it's actually worth using Mage Armor on Gale given the potent row. Fantastic. Plus the additional level 1 spell slot he gets from a Shield of Devotion. Very good. Needs to utilize. We just need to go to a Starion. No. What color dyes do I have? I just a pale green dye and Drake dye. Could have uh, Gale match me with the old Drake dye. Will wants to talk. He never doesn't want to fucking talk. Gobshite. Your mind mingles with Will's. The more bullshit she pours, the more of it I'm forced to swallow. Mazora set me on fiends inside and outside the hells. She's never ordered a rescue. Gods. She makes a mockery of everything the blade stands for. Such an asshole. Shall be gone soon. Do this mission, Miss Aura will free you from the pack. Thank you. For <clears throat> sticking your neck out, you can already feel her scheming. She won't let me go without a fuss. Trust me on this. Any idea who the devil is that she needs free? Not a one. Fail. And I made a mindless blob clawing at demons on the front lines of the blood war. It's not gonna happen, you mean too much to this whole cast. And it means everything to me. I always knew what my future held, and I know I chose right. <coughs> <coughs> yeah. Cool thing. Cool thing. Cool stuff, Gail. Um, well. All the men in this camp look the same. This event before.
I wish I hadn't had it. Stay quiet and watch well that. See you standing there. Lost in the steps, truth be told. I need them to be just right. I wouldn't want to fail my new partner. New partner, and who might that be? As luck would have it, she just arrived. May I have this dance? I'd like to, but I'm afraid I'd trip over my own feet. Don't worry. It's not really about the dance. It's about who's we're dancing with. I think we should just call it a day. Oh. I mean, yes, of course. The sun only rests for so long. <laughs> oh. He looks very hurt. I feel bad to hurt his feelings like that, but I'm not into him. This isn't even like a bit because I'm not romancing him. Like, I don't know, I just... What was it, Scratch? is unable to speak through the small bag he holds in his mouth. What you got there, Scratch? I don't know. Maybe you can tell me. Though. All I know is I thought of you when I saw it. Okay. <laughs> Rob gas cock block. It was super effective. me wrong because he comes across See if there's anything as, you need. I don't know when the next blow might like he's not humble which in itself isn't a bad thing per se it's that he clearly acts in a way that it makes it seem like he's trying to come across as humble to me and maybe I'm reading it wrong but it just I can't help but every time I see him it's just it's just a face he's just putting on a show it's an act and I I don't like it strikes you as an act yes Exactly. Is that blood? No, no. It's just not authentic. But again, in it in of itself it's not bad, but I instinctually am like, what are you covering up? Even though I've done Will's backstory and, like, broken his pact. Yeah, so you'll, uh, you'll notice that a lot of the relatively uh, notable tieflings are dead here. Some, um, 
went very significantly Zeph, uh, Rachel, Lemonos, uh, Toron, Arnek, and Kaldani. Those aren't very notable. Hmm. Ikron. He replaces Zevalor. He's actually Zevalor's second in command. And Asherak is, uh, yeah, also a pretty significant guy. He's the one that was training the children. What's hiding here? What's inside? Might be useful. Alright, we are not going that way, we're going back down here. We're going back to Moonrise Towers. It just really, really hurt me when I saw all of his tieflings dead. It's like I rescued them and it felt like it was for nothing when most of them were dead. I, act I do actually feel bad for shutting Will down though, like he looks very sad, but like, I'm, I'm, I'm here for Gale. I don't think Gale would appreciate me dancing with him. You're teaching him to actually be humble rather than fake humble. I wish that was what I was doing. Not as bad as it could have. Now I've got the Moonrise Towers TP. Let's go all the way back down there. Actually, no, I don't need to. What am I doing? <coughs> Wait, yes I do. I've freed the prisoners. And I need to go back down there. There is still stuff to do in the lower levels. They're not hostile to me too, which is good. Far enough. His thoughts invade your own, probing for purchase. Ah, one blessed like myself. What news, true soul? A letter from a field. What news inside? General Ketherick's advisor went off on a field trip. Zarel was in charge till he gets back. You'll find Zarel in the audience chamber. Let's hope this Zarel likes what we have to say. Praise Hello. the absolute. A 
Another true soul. The disciple will want to see you through the main door. Ah, a new face come to bask in the light of the absolute. How can I be of service, true soul? Power of devotion. Cite your oath to today. Regain one channel overcharge. Interesting. Good ring to give a Starion, given all the poison he's carrying and not being able to use yet. Bring a where it deals for the damage to a reverberate creature is days. No. Not too interested in that. Pressure to speed, however, I am. And the greater healing pots. And the healing pots. Have this that's a starion. Stormwalk, stone skin, wall of fire. Take the fireball, lightning bolt. Light is pretty good. And Wall of Fire too, while I'm at it, still 1,200 gold. And honor. Right, it's time to see Kefric. Again. We did as we was told, General! Followed every order. The facts suggest otherwise. You were ordered to retrieve the artifact. You failed to do so. Ass! No, no, it was Minfara. She got the orders. She. Enough! A blast of mental energy washes over me, filling the room. Your tadpoles are my hopes, urging you to obey. You failed to retrieve the artifact. You failed to protect your true soul. You do not deserve to live. Keep silent, keep watching. Mercy, General! Please! General Thorne? Let our newest arrival speak. You have seen what these creatures are capable of, and you have seen their inadequacies, isn't that so? What is your judgment? You know I'm loyal! Tell him! Enough! True soul, tell the general how the goblins served our cause. Again, uh, Fezrek is the goblin that strapped the gnome to the windmill. Just kill them, they're worthless. Lies! I served the Absolute! I did everything I was told! And there you have it. We are too close to the ending. And the new beginning. I can coddle failure no longer. Kill them, quickly. What? Creaking old bag of shit! This is what I thought would be funny if you could kill Kefric by getting the artifact that makes him immortal. <laughs> he just doesn't get up again after the goblin kills him. <laughs> I'm so sorry, my lord. She's an unbeliever outside my control. 
Oh, it is so badass of Kefric this. Try again. Dispose of the rest as you see fit. Or better yet, put that true soul to use. You have far more important matters to attend to. Or have you forgotten? Of course not, my lord. Thank you. I really feel bad you for these the goblins. General. The goblins are yours. Deal with them however you wish. Here in the seat of the Absolute's power, your authority over them is complete. They will obey any command. Report to me upstairs when you're done. Please! You gotta help me! For old time's sake! <laughs> ah, a unique Oathbreaker option here. I'm gonna do the first morally grey thing I do because they were murdering tieflings. And while it would be good to forgive them, eh, I'd rather be chaotic good. I always am anyway, so not another word. In fact, not another breath from any of you. General Thorne's prayers and preparations must not be disturbed. The rooftop is off limits to everyone. Even you, disciples, Ral? Everyone. Keep watch and ensure that nobody passes. Excellent timing, true soul. The goblins. Tell me how they suffered. No, better yet. Show me. Her mind enters yours abruptly, flickering across your memory. Inventive and efficient. A child could have done it. And what a fine child it would be. But you didn't come here to tear the wings off insects. You came here to answer the Absolute's call. Let's see what you're made of. She parts the folds of your mind again. Every emotion. distract her with uh, your yearning for Gale. Oh, I yearn so hard for him. You have used the wizard well. But the desperate with the absolute. Oops. Your fantasies can become more real than flesh. The pleasures of the mind can surpass those of the body. I have 
already been blessed to stand in her presence. It was bliss. She gave me everything I wanted. Show me the power she gave you. Hmm, why not? What's the point in power if you don't get to have a little fun every now and again? She gave me the power to cut the thread of life with a thought. That I can caress as well as cut. That's why you should stay on my good side. And the best way to do that is to serve General Saul. I have a mission for you. That's it. Play along. The closer you can get to the General, the closer you'll be to the answers you seek. <clears throat> I'll have to serve what do I need to do. There is a relic that... The relic is beneath the Thorn family mausoleum. That is where you will find Balthazar. But we have lost contact with him. Go there. Aid Balthazar if you can. And bring the relic home. Understood, I'm ready to head out. The shadows around. Take one from Val. But don't pry. The last person who snooped into his secrets lost their head. I believe he uses it as a chamber pot. Chamber, but maybe it was like an ogre's. I always forget how disgusting his room is. Poison a foe, heal yourself for one d4 hit points. That is best on a Starion, given I'm starting a little bit of a poison build on him. Oh. Oh. Oh, give that cloak to Gale. figured out the order of this puzzle and it is very oh punishing God. if you fuck it up. Let's move. <clears throat> At the ready. One moment. Come on, I can see the lever. What now? Second attempt, nice. I shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting times. And this is Kefric's room with his little robo dog. Careful, I might. Look, Let's get his dog to come out here. I can push it off the ledge. Another nat 20. Two in a row. Okay. 
Well, I have no problem killing a dog. Can't give up now. I have to keep going. Stand, soldier. These are wait. Something in your scent is familiar. Uh, show her scratch his ball. Do you take me for a teething pup? Get that out of my face. Though whichever whelp owns that thing smells happy, safe. I've not scented such a thing since I was flesh. It's even wagging its tail since still. Since my master brought me back. This place smells wrong. His family is gone. Replaced by bootlickers and beasts. You are neither. So tell me true. What is your purpose here? I want to stop the absolute. I protect my master. What becomes of his master, I care not. Pass then, but I will be watching. My scent seems to trigger a memory in you. What was it? Not your scent. Selunite magic on your skin. The general once smelled that way when his daughter still lived. I died the same night she did, my master says, trying to protect her. I do not remember. But he brought me back. I will not fail him again. Well, wow. I'm gonna feel a little shit for this, but only a little. Bludgeoning vulnerability. Hold on a minute. I'm great with those weapons. All you have to do is hit, please. 25 damage, holy shit. That's nuts for a fireball. What to do? Moving ahead. Let's have a look. Oh yeah, Gale Bones. Out of brain domination. Confidential directed to scribe Yana by General Kefrick. Young Gortash's plans to enslave an illiquid elder brain and make it a marionette under the crown, uh, control of Crown of Castles has proceeded almost without flaw, barring a slight delay while our bar list allies sorted out their leadership conflict. The weak point would most surely be sharing the Neverstones. It was necessary to secure my engagement and that of the murder cult, but eventually it's certain to fracture our fragile alliance. Clearly all three Neverstones must be controlled by a single leader, me by preference, but not until uh, after all the stakeholders have made their essential contribution. Gortash fears that energized by dark energies of a crown of a brain we now call the Absolute will eventually metamorphize into something new and more difficult to control. If he is right, need to invest the power of Neverese stones into a single wielder is urgent, even more so 
Imba, Imba Gortash at least. Must be thinking the same way. Wow. How delicious. I missed that book for the first time. Fucking hell, I rolled a three. No, I didn't I rolled a four. Absorb elemental damage once per short rest. Take half damage from next elemental attack target and you deal it. Oh, um. Lost thought. That is best on you, and you, we've all got a cloak now. You. Still breathing, despite everything. Anything of use? Missive from Gortash. General, given what we know from my research about the Gip artifact, I can't emphasize how critical it is, but it is recovered. The power the artifact contains can boost our own efforts to unforeseen levels, but if it falls into the hands of the enemies of Witten resistance, it could bring down all our plans and schemes. The body of our handpicked captain for the artifact raid wasn't found in the wreckage of an autoloid, and not at all easy in my mind about that fact. Find the artifact, employ rigorous means, do not fail. One day, I'll catch a break. Better that will fit in my pack. Potion. It's just a potion. It doesn't say what it does. It just is. This sounds like a training room. My face protects me. But that also sounds like it's being shot from below me. We'll try that again. Uh, that's a mimic. Never seen a mimic yet. Hooray to my first mimic. do again. Minus one penalty. Ah yeah, to attack rolls. Darling daughter, when you were a little girl, I would often watch you play with your dolls, your cousins, picture myself, and an almost opaque silvery shield surrounding you, protecting you. I knew somehow deep within myself that no harm could ever befall you, because I would not let it. Bow of the healers say I may pass to the city of judgment soon. Know this, my darling daughter. I am always around you. I am always with you. The moon maiden will never allow you to bear the burden you cannot carry. I love you forever. A, a love that has no death. Mama. I'm not going to read heresy. That goes down somewhere. Don't waste a step. Meaning I could have climbed into this room somehow. Is anything? 
intriguing. I didn't know I would be able to climb in through. Like that, that's a very clever way to sneak into Caprick's personal space. I'll give it a shot. Yes. I've got ten greater healing potions now. Holy shit. Still alive. So that's progress. Awesome. I love that, even though it was an yeah. easy fight, I love that there was just a mimic. Never a dull moment. Like that seems to be just about everything in this room. I never worked out a puzzle for this. See, I thought it was in the personal notes, but there's only notes two and three in this place. Here we go. Why spy with my reply? Nothing a note, really. Ah. Right. Let's fast travel back to the blighted village from here as we no longer have time constraints and we can start the Gif Yankee village. Sorry, crap. I'm gonna go to the toilet quick. Especially with hands sick down to pee. Nah, that's part of the fu fun. I appreciate the tongue licking I could potentially receive. Actually looks really nice this time. I never really painted the armor and stuff that we had as a party when I played it before. Looks really like a nobleman wiping his ass with a swan's neck. Oh yeah, it's like the ultimate bidet. A mimic tongue. to the ants before I do that, Istik. This is your, your last chance! No, look up. That was your last chance, Istik. Now burn! Excuses. 
question kill, then move on. Find the weapon. Our queen watches us. Fail her at your peril. Can we kill them? Please. Pretty please. I can actually get into this fight while the dragon's here. And I've always wondered if there's a secret achievement for killing the dragon here. be a rough fight still, but fuck it. Oh well, I'll be inspired. Let's go. What easy prey you make, walking right within my blade's embrace. These creatures are so simple to ensnare, Beretha. You mule too much about your task. Forgiveness, Kithrak. And as for you, tell me, why shouldn't I run you through this instant? One passage. If I have to go through you, so be it. What happened to my advantage there? Oh well. Chuck, you dare speak to me like my better? Others have died for lesser insults. Slowly, but your bravery amuses me. Finally, I find a wolf in a world of lowing cattle. You may live for the moment. Now, we seek a weapon taken from a vessel that fell from the sky. Understand, Istik? You feel Shadowheart's anxiety. The weapon that Voss seeks, it's the artifact that she carries. Her mind focuses. The Gith's suspicion cannot be aroused. They cannot discover that the weapon they seek is right within their grasp. Help us find it and I will leave your blood beneath your skin unspilled. Don't help them. Don't tell them a thing. We're dead if you do. Of course. Obedience is your only hope. Now stand still. He begins to move his hand in a quick flurry of gestures. Easy enough. Nothing even approaching a useful thought in that skull. I ought to just kill you. Why are you hesitating, man? Try it. I dare you. Okay, yeah. I can't use friends because he is hostile. That's so bold in the face of death. Perhaps you may live after all. <laughs> Better to let stronger blood thrive. It can give rise to worthier foes and hardier slaves. Don't disappoint me. His weapon is the earliest legendary weapon in the game you can get as well. If you cast heat metal on him at the start, he can drop it. And you can take it from him. for that combat nice and easy.
pretty rough combat just up here. Might level me up though before the gift crash. Piercing damage, is it non magical from magical to necrotic veils making it resistant? Three of them turned. resurrecting your dead friends. What's the Apollo's AC? 26 with haste. And it goes up to 28 if Shadowheart casts Shield of Faith. Oh, fuck. I said this could be a hard combat, but... It's going very well so far. It's because they're in range of each other. He gives her the aura within nine meters. Um, Yes. And I shall kill you again. Yeah. Yeah. I 
I get that turn immediately. Nauseous says I'm fucking everyone, I think. Well, no, Astario's just straight up paralyzed. Arguably, it's much worse. Bit annoying. Bit yikes. Didn't think it'd just devour him like that, but here we are. And the best bit now is because I've used how many elephant powers? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. If I knock from below 11 HP with a hit with Nefala, it kills them and damages everything around them now. You can. Just endlessly brez each other. What the fuck? We've saved me. Can't take much more.
rough fight. I didn't even get much XP from that. I used up all of my paladin spells in that one fight. This is the price of bad weather. By doom and dusk, I strike thy name from the archives. Rise. Keep your distance now. I've settled on stealing my money back from Withers permanently now. He doesn't need it. It may look like a peaceful ruined temple, but it is overrun with brutish, stupid, rude Githyanki. They have the audacity to call that hole a crash, as if it weren't actually a murderous training camp. Honestly, I was doing them a favor offering to buy one of their eggs. And how am I repaid? Attacked and run off like some transient. And how much did you offer? Not enough, clearly. The Society of Brilliance asked me to acquire one of their row so they can incubate it and once it hatches, raise the spawn in their tradition. The Society believes a Githyanki raised in a peaceful, nurturing environment can overcome its violent nature. Hogwash, of course. A Gith Yankee can no more rise above its nature than gnomes can fly. Yeah, a pure will and great courage anyone can rise above their nature. You've been sipping from the same goblet as the society. Perhaps you'd be willing to help them, to prove your point. They may have chased me away. But surely the Gith would welcome a person with such sympathetic views to their crash. And once inside, you could simply purloin an egg. You'll be well compensated, of course. Just bring me an egg. <laughs> Produce the Albert. I still have it. Um. Fine, but I want payment up front. I pass. I suppose there is a reason I'm asking you to do it. Very well. Here's the money. Now, I expect a speedy delivery. Trust that an early payment has <laughs> ensured be swift all back. Back. very well. But I'll make note of how much time you waste crawling through balls.
die in those, and I'm giving them to Gale because they're much better than him dealing damage to himself. Now Gale doesn't have to fucking cook himself alive. What the fuck is that? Probably from a trap I just set up, actually. Approach the fairy in Lathander's grace. May his gaze shine upon you, pilgrim. It'll be time. say that but you can actually persuade them to just give you the egg through like several persuasion checks it's kind of nuts Thou require a new ally. Thou mayest. Dost thou require it then? Thou this is the price of that where The game's trying to prevent me from taking with his money back. I can't believe it just fell off the elevator. They just slipped off the back. I have a lot on my mind. And well in it. I'm over and through. That is utter bullshit. No, no, they fell off the back. The game pushed them out. Right, I'm gonna do these two combats and then level up, and I reckon I'll wrap up the stream there. That's enough! Intruder spotted. Intelligent Target multiple people. Come on, can't stay idle. towards us? Yes. No. Step by step. I won't give in. Could be a good thing.
I might not even get to that one. Intended result that shit. Hmm. On top of that, also not intended result. Shite. Into the fray. Damn. Good. Oh, I'm glad that's what you were doing, and not something dumb. I really thought you were doing something dumb there, Gale. See enemies from the floor now. <laughs> I'm one hitting them all though because Nafala only needs to do a tiny bit of damage because I got 20 HP and then bam, we're dead. Cobalt ever. God for War Caster on Shadow Heart. Oh, 
was holding Gale back. Could be ex yes, you did hear that correct. Alright, time to level the party up to level 7, and that will be where we take a break for the evening. It will not be a paladin level 6, it will be a level in Warlock. Make your attacks deal 1d6 to target unit in fact. Yes, that is very important. You cast Eldritch Blast, add your charisma modifier to the damage it deals unless it's negative. And then you cast Ranger on as well. That give me expertise if I already have. Disguise yourself at will without spending a spell slot. That is actually very good. When you hit a creature with order splash, you can push the creature up to 4.5 meters away from you. Agonizing and repelling blast sounds very good. That buffs my Eldritch Blast. This is new too. Cycling you through people, finally. Rather than just. Oh, yeah. Look at this. No, I want Sanctuary. I don't ever use my healing word. Wall of Fire is pretty fucking good. Great invisibility will be insane on the far one. So now I've got two Warlock spell slots. And I've got a very, very nuts Eldritch Blast. A minimum of four damage now instead. Meaning that the follower is useful at range. Finally. <sighs> right. Well, let me save the game there. 22 hours of gameplay I've done on this run. Jesus. Right, well, thank you for coming along and watching as usual. Um, God, I've got to be up for 12, so 9 hours. Not that bad at all. I've done pretty well. Um, I don't know if I will be streaming tomorrow. I will update when I know. Um, but I'll definitely try to stream on Wednesday. Till then. Thanks for coming along and watching. Take care. Bye for now.